Scrafty makes his way back in the Indigo Disc DLC, and this little guy is back like he never left. Scrafty has always been a monster with his abilities Moxie and Intimidate. And if we also pair those abilities with moves like Dragon Dance, Close Combat, and even Knockoff, Scrafty becomes a huge threat. To add even more power, now Scrafty can Terrastalize into Terra Steel or Terra Poison to give those four times strong fairy types a good stab poison jab or iron head. And on top of that, we're holding a Lumberry, so we aren't even scared of no burn, sleep, or paralysis. Stick around until the end because Scrafty is here and he is standing on business. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are y'all doing today? Listen, man, today we have an amazing OU mixed Wi-Fi battle with our Moxie Scrafty. Crafty team. Be sure to head into the description below and join the Discord for a chance to take me on in a battle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a goal of 100 likes on today's video, so help us out by leaving a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go jump into the team preview. All right, so as you guys can see on your screen, today we're gonna be taking on Sebas MA. I'm just gonna call him Sebas because I feel like it's really easy. But today we're taking him on in a nice and powerful OU mixed Wi-Fi battle. Mine's really UU mixed. However, I think we can prevail. I think we have a good time. But today, Sebas is going to be bringing a nice and powerful Iron Valiant, King Gambit, Tyranitar, a Feraligator, a Corvin, Knight and a Garchomp. So uh, I'll tell you what, this team screams that Scrafty can finally do work. So today we're going to be bringing our Scrafty team that we did build. He has Lumberry, Dragon Dance, just kind of like the old Scrafty that we used to use. Uh, we do have Choice Banded uh, Golurk, who is basically a Poltergeist set. We do have Squidbill. He's going to be a Rapid Spin Special Defensive Tentacruel. We have Choice Specs, Man Wartar. We have Light Clay, uh, Basic um, Alolan Ninetale. Then we have Thwomp, aka the boy, Mr. Uh, Bastiodon. He's gonna have Terry Fairy as well as uh, Iron Defense and Body Press. So I'm gonna lead off with Alolan Ninetales to get the screens up for us, or I guess the Aurora Veil, and then just kind of go from there. So without further ado, let's go jump into the Wi Fi battle against Sabas. Okay, so Sabas is gonna lead off with Pharaoh Paladin, which is going to be the nice and powerful Iron Valley. It's actually really nice to get this thing out of the way uh, because number one, he is gonna be booster energy, but number two, uh, we can easily set up a nice uh, Aurora Veil. Now, once we get the Aurora Veil up, I think, honestly, we go for Moonblast. So I'm gonna set up that Aurora Veil here. I don't think he has anything that can really take us on. Uh, and the best part, if he swaps out here, he's basically going to lose his Quirk Drive. So, not really the play. They do go for Moonblast. This shouldn't... No, never mind. That did a lot. That did a lot. Uh, so, I do I have a lot to switch into this thing? Its speed is going to be raised. However, uh, man, I don't have a lot. I mean, I could switch into Thwomp, but yeah, I'm not liking it, to be honest. So, uh, you know what? Let's go for our own Moonblast. I feel like we can easily eat another Moonblast behind the screens as we do. Perfect. Moonblast comes through. How much are we doing to this thing? Get him out of here. Get him out of here, Lola Ninetales. Oh, yes. I love that. So now uh, we could probably sack off a Lola Ninetales and then probably get in Scrafty. And once Scrafty can get in, I think we have a good time. Uh, hopefully they send in Corviknight here because if they send in Corviknight, uh, we can get a huge blizzard off on that thing. And then if we get a blizzard off on that thing, we're sitting all right. Okay, so they are going to send in Tyranitar. This is where things kind of get a little weird. However, if they don't Terra here, I can 1,000% send in Scrafty. So I'm going to go for the Moonblast here. Because Moonblast, I feel like, could do a lot of damage. And the best part is here is a Moonblast is going to do a crap ton of damage. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Earthquake, please take us out. Because now we can just easily send in Scrafty. We could send a... Or actually, we could probably set up, like, three Dragon Dances. Like, I'm not even kidding. And then get a big Drain Punch off on top of that? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. All right. So, the only thing is, is the Sand is up, which I don't like. So, let's go for Dragon Dance number one. Uh, we should outspeed this thing, hypothetically, because Dyranitar is, like, base 60 speed. Uh, versus my boy Gran Torino here. Scrafty has base... Uh, I don't even know. Base... What is Scrafty's speed? Base 58. So we actually get outsped, which is pretty crazy. So uh, kind of show that they don't have any speed investment. However, this earthquake is doing nothing to us, bro. We can set up so many dragon dances. I'm setting up one more. I don't even care. I'm setting up one more. So they are going to withdraw the Tyranitar, which isn't great. 
Uh, however, they are going to go into Garchomp. Garchomp is a little scary. Uh, however, this does give me a chance to go for a big... I kind of want to go for a knockoff. I kind of want to go for a knockoff. However, I feel like a Drain Punch would do a good amount of damage. I just don't know if this is a defensive Garchomp. So, let's go for a knockoff. Let's go for a knockoff here. We get the knockoff going. And that's going to do about half. Unfortunately, he is rough skin. Do they take us out? Oh, and he's Rocket Helmet. Okay, so... Uh, that's not great. Can we live an attack? They go for... Oh, brother. I absolutely adore that play because I get a free 99 drain punch off on this thing. And you know what? We love that. We love that because we're going to get a lot of health back. And the best part is we should be able to take out Garchomp plus get a plus one. So Scrappy... Ooh, it didn't take it out, though. So hopefully Earthquake doesn't take us out. However, we are at half health. I think we can live. Unfortunately, we do get rocky, or sorry, rough skin damage. So they go for Poison Jab. All right, they do get the poison. However, we do, in fact, get back the Lumberry. So Scrafty holding the Lumberry, like with back in the old days, looking really nice. So the reason why we have the Lumberry is because of, uh, of Breloom's and... and Amoongus is running wild with um, Spore or Will-O-Wisp users. Honestly, it's just it comes in clutch because it's basically a free uh, D-Dance on a lot of those kind of Pokemon. So uh, let's go for a Drain Punch here, get some health back. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna get back what took us out. So they go for the Endure. I'm not sure what the Endure is for. To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what that Endure was for. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage. However, if he sends in Corviknight here, we should be A-OK. -okay. So, uh, I'm going to go for a Drain Punch again. I don't really see... I'm not sure what the Endure was for, to be honest. I'm really not sure what Endure was for. Uh, however, if he does send in Corviknight, that would be really nice. Like, I actually sat there and thought about it. I was like, mm, maybe Corviknight got coming in would be great. However, I do like the Corviknight play. So we are going to get a Mox here, which means that we're at plus three and plus two attack. There's not a lot of Pokemon he can send in. Okay, so they are going to opt to go into King Gambit. This is where it does get a little tough because a Sucker Punch could do a decent amount of damage. However, I am Dark type. I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. They do go for Sucker Punch. And we live on 11. Let's go, baby. That's exactly what we needed right there. Oh my gosh, yes. And it's Focus Sash. That is absolutely perfect. I don't even care. I don't. Yup, they're going to DC. They just DC. They don't want it. They don't even want the smoke, bro. They did not want the smoke. Nah, I'm just kidding. We definitely have another Wi-Fi battle lined up for you guys. I just wanted to showcase Scrafty making someone rage quit. But before we jump to the next Wi-Fi battle, I need some feedback out of you guys in the comment section below. Do you guys like this split Wi-Fi battle kind of video? Because if you do, if we can get this video to 150 likes, I'm going to try my hardest to do this kind of style in every video. I appreciate the support out of you guys and thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. And without further ado, let's go jump into Wi-Fi battle number two. All right, so as you guys can see on your screen today, we're going to be taking on Foxy in a nice and powerful OU mixed Wi-Fi battle. And today, well, actually, I think it's UU because I don't, oh yeah, I guess Pre-Marina's. Oh, you that makes sense. So either way, today it's the OU Mixed Wi-Fi battle. Today, Fox is going to be bringing a Primarina, a uh, Sinistee, a Squawkabilly. I ain't battled Squawkabilly in so long. Uh, but they have a Morpico, a Hippowdon, and a Typhlosion. So today we're going to be rocking out with our Dragon Dance Lumberry Scrafty uh, moveset. And then we next have Golurk, who's going to be Choice Banded Poltergeist. You know the deal. Uh, today we have Squid Billy, the nice and powerful uh, Tentacruel with Rapid Spin, Special Defensive Set. You know what it is. Uh, we have Joker the choice specs magmortar next we have lady kurma is going to be auroraville light clay kind of basic set with that and then last but not least we have thwomp if you don't know what a thwomp is it's the big block from mario with the face but uh that's going to be our bastiodon who's going to be a terra fairy iron defense body press set. so leads for my opponents i feel like they're going to lead off with hippowdon so if i think they're going to lead off with hippowdon you know what let's lead off actually you know what let's go with lady kurma just so we can set up an auroraville uh we can get up uh, possibly a blizzard on the on the hip out and we just go from there so you know what i'm locked in and without further ado let's go jump into the wi-fi battle against foxy okay so foxy's gonna lead off with snickers the more pico we're gonna lead off with lady kurama now this actually isn't a horrible matchup for us and the reason why i say that right is because 
we have such a good time if we go for Moonblast. The only thing is, is yes, we'll do a lot of damage with Moonblast. However, an Aura Wheel would hurt. An Aura Wheel would hurt. However, it would turn into a Dark type, which would be nice for us. So you know what? I don't know if I'm going to outspeed, but I'm going to go for an Aurora Veil. So they are going to go for the Fake Out. Fake Out going to do, eh, it's going to do some damage. It's going to do a little bit of damage. So um, either way, perfectly fine with me. Uh, because I don't think this thing has anything to take us out with, especially now that it's dark type. So the ore wheel is going to be dark. So I'm going to go for that Aurora Veil. Uh, we do outspeed this time. Actually, we do outspeed in general. So that's actually really nice that we outspeed. So we're going to get that Aurora Veil up. Perfect. They're going to go for the parting shot. Very good. Uh, very good on my opponent's part. Uh, so now we're a little bit weak with our Lady Kuruma, the Nine Tails. However, this possibly could give us a good time to go into Scrafty, depending what they go into. Okay, so they're gonna go into Ozai, Fire-type, Typhlosion, called it. Okay, so that's actually decent for us because two plays I could make here. One, I could go into Squid Billy, who's gonna be my Tentacruel. Tentacruel wouldn't be a bad play because we can get some Toxic Spikes up. We are especially defensive, which means an Eruption wouldn't hurt as bad if they have some... Um, Extra sensory, it could lead to some bad stuff. However, I don't see them going for extra ten or extra sensory. So, you know what? Let's go into Squid Billy here. We should be able to easily live in an eruption. Uh, the hail's going up, so it's not going to do as much. I'm confident in the Squid Billy play. Okay, Squid Billy looking all nice and shiny. Got the green shine on him. They do go for that eruption. It is going to be uh, uh, HP base, and that's not going to do a thing to Squid Billy. So. Looking at my opponent's team, some Toxic Spikes would actually be really nice for us. You know what? I like the Toxic Spikes. I'm going to go for them. So, uh, they are going to withdraw Ozai. Do they go back into more Pico? That's the question. If they, They're they actually going to go into Gloria. I love it. I love Gloria, the nice and powerful Hip Howdon. So, uh, they are going to probably be a Stealth Rock set. So, I should be able to outspeed here. I should on hypothetically be able to outspeed so i could go for a surf the only thing is i don't think i live in earthquake but you know what i like a good surf play i love a good surf play we do get the surf off surf gonna do close to half which is telling me that this thing is possibly either gonna be a special defensive one or it's going to be a uh actually it might just be straight physically special or specially defensive just for how much that surf did so um I could rapid spin here. I could rapid spin. Mm, I am going to rapid. Or sorry, I'm going to surf here. I like the surf here. I want to get this thing whittled down as close as I can. That's going to almost take this thing out. They are going to go for the earthquake. Does that take us out? It does not take us out, which is very fortunate for us. The only thing is the sandstorm is going to be kind of a problem. So, um, also, I kind of need to keep tabs on that. Um, on that Typhlosion. So, I think a play also we should do is get some Stealth Rocks up with Bastiodon. So, what I'm gonna do here now is, on the off chance they swap out, I'm gonna go for a Rapid Spin. I don't really necessarily need uh, Tentacruel anymore, so we get the Rapid Spin off for free. Uh, they're probably gonna go for the Earthquake to take us out. They are Rocky Helmet. Uh, so honestly, that's a-okay with me. That is a-okay with me. Gloria absolutely did her thing. So now, here's where things can get really nice for us. Because I can go into Scrafty. And Scrafty can start setting up. Uh, mm, actually, can we? Hmm. Yeah, Scrafty can really start setting up. Scrafty looks amazing right here. Uh, and the best part is here is we're going to get a huge moxie boost if we do knock this thing out. So I'm going to go for a dragon dance here. We get the free dragon dance off here. Are they going to go for a slack off possibly? Or are they going to go for a stealth rock? If they go for a stealth rock here, not really necessarily the worst play. Because, oh, roar. I love that. I love that out of you. That was a great play. That was a great play. However, we can pretty much outspeed anything we want here. So Magmortar is going to come in perfectly fine with me. Uh, I say we get the free, I say we get a free little Scorching Sands off, uh, and on the off chance that they do possibly go into, uh, more Pico for, like, a Thunderbolt or anything, you know what, I am gonna go for a Scorching Sands, it should be super effective, we do get the Scorching Sands off, which means no Stealth Rock for my opponent, which is gonna be absolutely amazing, and the best part is here is, we still have a switch in, being our Typhlosion, 
or sorry, not being our, our Typhlosion, but being our um, Magmortar here for the eruption shenanigans. So they're going to go back into Snickers, which is going to be the Morpico. Morpico's kind of a threat. However, he is going to get poisoned here, which is super nice. Now, the question is, is this thing going to be a, what's it called set? Is it going to be a rapid spin set? It had parting shot, parting shot shenanigans. Uh, what move did it have? I forgot what moves it had already. Either way, we're fine. Um, question is, is who do I want to go into? Golurk is looking really nice here. However, if they get a dark type Terra wheel here, uh, could be pretty bad. So, um, also, hmm, actually looking at my team, I don't really have a great switch in for Typhlosion. So, uh, let's keep our boy around here and let's go into the Alolan Ninetales. Just because if we can get an Aurora Veil back up, it wouldn't be a bad play. And if he does go for a dark type move, Eh, it's okay with me as long as we can set up the, uh, the um, as long as we can set up our Scrafty with Dragon is behind an Aurora Veil. I think we're a okay. So they are going to be the rapid spin set. Okay, so that's good for my opponent. Very good for my opponent. Unfortunately, um, as long as we can take out this thing, we'll be a okay. So this is just going to be a regular poison. It's not going to be a, um, a two times poison. So, they're probably going to parting shot here. So, what I want to do is I'm going to Aurora Veil here just because we should. Uh, we aren't faster. Oh, I forgot they got a Rapid Spin, obviously. So, uh, either way, an Aurora Veil is going to be actually really nice here because now we can at least sit behind that. Uh, and the best part is as long as we can bring in Bastiodon safely, we should be A-OK. -okay. I just need to get the Stealth Rocks up, especially for, one, the uh, Typhlosion, and two, the Squawkabilly. So, they're going to go to Margarita, which looks like that is going to be the Squawkabilly. So, um, Squawkabilly is kind of a threat. I don't know what this thing does. I have no idea what this thing does. Now, oh, it's going to be a Guts boosted one. Okay. Mmm. So, that could be actually kind of stinky. Uh, however, I'm going to go for a Blizzard. We do get the Blizzard off. Oh, and that takes out Squawkabilly. Look at you go, Alolan Ninetales. You love that. You absolutely love that. Uh, so, the best part is, oh, I forgot they rapid spin our, uh, our toxic spikes away. So, honestly, nah, not worst case scenario. So, they're going to go into Mrs. Potts, which is going to be the, uh, the thing here. So, I'm going to, I'm going to Blizzard. I'm going to Blizzard here. Oh, unfortunately, if they go for, there's a the Shell Smash. Okay. So, here's where things could get a little scary. This is where things can get a little scary. Um, however, I'm going to make the play. I'm going to make the play of going into Scrafty now. And the reason why I want to go into Scrafty here is because... Uh, actually... Um... Yeah, I'm going to make the play of Scrafty here. Because most times, if this is going to be a Shell Smash set, it can't hit... It can't hit Scrafty. As well as top of that, if he goes for Shadow Ball, it's not going to do a lot. And on top of that, unless he's running a fairy move, he can't hit us. So you know what? I'm going to go straight into Scrafty. Most of the times of what I see, they're usually not. They're usually not. And we are behind a, uh, an Aurora Veil. So that could be decent for us. They are going to go. Oh, they're Baton Pass shenanigans. Okay. Are they going to go Prairie Marina? Do they go Prairie Marina? That's the. Ooh, actually, that's a very good question. Okay, they are going to go Mermaid Man, which that's going to be the Primarina. Now, I, listen, uh, I don't know if I really want to Terra here. I'm going to Dragon Dance Terra. I'm going to Dragon Dance Terra. And the reason why I, I want to do that is because I should be faster than the Primarina. Because Primarina is slower than Molasses. So, what I want to do is I do want to Terra here. If I live a hit, go for a Poison Jab, and we should be good to go from there. So... Alluring voice. That's not going to do anything to us. That's perfect. Now, the only thing is, is we should hypothetically do a lot with this poison jab. It's going to be stab. And I just realized why is the Terra Crown on poison or on the Terra Crown on Scrafty so freaking big? Let's go for a poison jab. Are they going to Terra? They are going to Terra. Ah. Uh, what are they going to Terra into? That's the question. That's, the, my, that's my only question is what do they Terra into? They're going to be Terra Psychic. Are we serious? Are we serious? Terra Psychic? Okay, well, the good thing is we get the Poison Jab off. Bad thing is, is do they have Psychic Noise? 
We do get the poison, which is good. So that's not bad. Psychic noise. Wow. Okay, well, we're still behind an Aurora Veil, so can we live? We live. We lived. Oh my gosh, baby. We lived. That was actually insane. Okay. So now we can get the free knockoff. We get a free knockoff here. So knockoff, come through. Do your thing, please. Scrafty, go crazy, brother. Go crazy. Go crazy. Okay. Oh, they have Aqua Jump. We lived. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we lived. Yes, Scrafty. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Wait a minute. This is good for us. Wait a minute. I, I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too crazy. All right. I don't want to get too too up in the mix. However, Scrafty living on two is actually insane. That Aurora Veil vale saved us very very hard. So they're gonna go into Snickers. Now, Snickers, I don't think outspeeds us. Oh, they have fake out, though. Oh, they have fake out. Oh, the fake out. The fake out, the fake out, the fake out. Do we need Scrafty still? Do we need Scrafty? My gut's telling me no. My gut is telling me no, so I'm going to Alphonse. Going to Alphonse here, if you don't get the reference, it is from Full Metal Alchemist. If you don't know, it's the brother who's a ghost inside of the, the shell armor, and it looks exactly like my boy here. So we're going to block the fake out here, which is absolutely perfect, because now we can get the biggest dynamic punch in dynamic punch history. History is what it is. So... Now, are they going to go for a parting shot here? I don't think they can, actually, because I'm pretty sure parting shot's normal, correct? Uh, can they? And I don't think a... I don't know if an Aura Wheel takes us out, so you know what? I'm willing to bang on it. I'm willing to bang. They do go for the Aura Wheel. And we live on two! What's up with this living on two and everything? Okay, Dynamic Punch, going to take it out. Okay. Wait a minute, this battle is kind of getting wild, bro. This battle is getting so wild. Now, the only thing is, is he still has Ozai here. And Ozai is kind of a problem. So they're probably going to go for an eruption. Which, honestly, does stink. They do go for the eruption. Okay, this is where it doesn't really get too bad for us. And the reason why it doesn't get too bad for us is because... I can go into Magmortar here now, and Magmortar can get off a huge Scorching Sands. Uh, because I don't think he's going to go for an Eruption. I don't think Eruption comes through. Uh, looking at their other Pokemon, they still have the Sinistra, or sorry, the Sinistee, as well as the um, Typhlosion. So, we are Specs, so Scorching Sands could do a good amount of damage. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to Scorching Sands here. They go for the Eruption. How much is that doing to us? That does half. That actually did half. So the best part is here is we're going to... Oh, we do a lot of damage. We do a lot of damage. So now I bring in my Thwomp, who's going to be coming in crazy. And now I get up the... Um, I get up possibly the body or the Iron Defense. Get up Iron Defense. They do go for Eruption. This shouldn't do too much to us. Yeah, that's literally going to do nothing to us. So now, what I do is I go for a Stealth Rock, right? Stealth Rock? Do I go Stealth Rock? I think I go Stealth Rock just in case. I'm going to go Stealth Rock just in case. So they are going to withdraw Ozai, which is perfect. And now... Hmm. Well, this is actually not great. Actually... This is actually pretty decent because they're going to go for a Shell Smash. And with them going for a Shell Smash... With them going for a Shell Smash... I go for Foul Play. They Shell Smash, right? They... Sh oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. This Foul Play is about to go crazy. Oh, you love it. You love it. And the defenses are going to fall. Look at this. Pass you down. Who would have thought Bastion would be out here thriving like this? Let's get it, baby. Yes, sir, Bastion. Yes, sir. And guess what? Them Stealth Rocks take out the Typhlosion, and that's going to be GG, baby. Oh, Bastion didn't have to do anything this match. Bastion just said, yo, listen, let me throw up a couple of rocks. Let me let me give a little play tricks to the to the Sinistee. And other than that, that's going to be GG's, bro. That was a super fun one. I love the gimmick team. 
that Foxy had. It was really fun to see. So again, GG to Foxy. If you guys do want to use the team, there will be a rental code right here. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we used in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles and let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build a team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.